Good morning, everybody. It's Bear with BearIndependent.com. Uh, let's talk about bunker wars because this seems to be a hot topic among uh, the preparedness community. I posted a video recently of a bunker that our company was contracted to supervise the installation of. Understand that. And I'd like to talk a little bit about what happened there in that video and address some of y'all's concerns, but add a little bit of context here. So without further, any, further ado, the best words, tremendous, bunker wars. There's lots of people that make SHTF bunkers, shelters, call them whatever you want to call them, okay? And we can argue the specifics around a campfire with an adult beverage at some point, but call them what you want call them bunkers. Okay. There's lots of people that make these things, but we're predominantly talking about two companies here. Round guy versus square guy. Okay. And I in no way endorse either of these companies or any other company to be perfectly clear. Okay. I have no relationship with any bunker company. Let me explain that. These guys don't like each other. That is not of my concern. I'm over here. See this guy with the beard and the prosperity shirt? That's what PR stands for. Prosperity.com. Okay? Our clients decided to go with a bunker from Square Guy before they ever talked to us. So by the time we at Prosperity had our first conversation with them, they were already under contract to purchase a bunker from Square Guy. We were brought in to make sure that Square Guy did everything that he was contractually obligated to do, which they did. We oversaw the installation, which we were contractually obligated to do, which we did. The clients now have the bunker from Square Guy that they paid for. That's the extent of our involvement in this situation. Anything beyond that would betray confidences with our paid clients that I don't intend to do. But understand contextually, these two guys don't like each other at all. That's fine. That's none of my business. My business is over here making sure that the client gets what they paid for. Does that make sense? So quickly a couple of key takeaways here this bunker was under contract from square guy before we ever had a conversation with the clients so understand that next do i recommend bunkers um one-on-one -on -one, if you are a paid client we can have that conversation generally speaking Unless you have all the other things handled as far as preparedness goes, uh, no, I don't. Now, is there a time and a place for a bunker? Absolutely. Um, I would prefer that you are not in the place that you need to be in if you need a bunker. But there are reasons that one would consider having a bunker. So unless you've done all the other things, unless you have all the other stuff, unless you have all the training. Um, no, they're not my first line of defense. They are a last line of defense as far as I'm concerned. And then within the context of your specific situation, prosperity and myself can make recommendations based upon your situation as to whether or not you should have a bunker. Lastly, I'll say this just to give you my experience. Bunker company reputations, none of my business. Okay. It's none of my business. There are a lot of people out there who do this. What I do is this. This is what I do. Again, these clients had already ordered and made a down payment on a unit from Square Guy. Regardless of whether or not Round Guy likes Square Guy or Square Guy likes Round Guy, these clients 
had decided to go with Square Guy, and my job was to make sure that these clients got what they paid for, and they did. So that was the extent of our involvement in this project. The reason I created that video was to show y'all an actual completed install. And there's a lot of good talking points around that, something that we can dive into a little bit deeper, but I wanted to give you some context over the bunker wars and where I am in all of this. Uh, so with that, shalom and blessings, y'all.